Well, actually, uh, today I've called you guys here because I uh, want to announce my forthcoming reality show. It's called Spare Me the Crab Mentality. Now, when you hear the name, you're just taken aback that what is Pooja Mishra Productions trying to tell us here? Well, in life, you might have observed in all the fields, you know, be it law, medicine, government services, more prevalent in show business because this is a coveted profession. There's a higher supply than the demand of talent. We notice the crab mentality. So what exactly is the crab mentality? It is when you take one step forward, some crabs pull you back five steps. You know, that's the crab mentality. People can't see others come up and all of that. So um, I decided I want to make a show around it, you know, because I've experienced it a lot. I still remember when I was making my first investor's pitch of my company, Pooja Mishra Productions, when I started it way back in 2012. Um, you know, I was at Ficky Frames and uh, I was running around to all these top production houses from Dharma Films to Amir Khan Productions and uh, narrating them my pitch for my forthcoming film, Jard, and my TV shows and web series that I've been making over a tenure of six years now. And uh, they were secretly taking notes, you know, and admiring my pitch. But nobody came forward to fund me or to support me in my endeavor. And that's when I realized that when you don't have a famous surname, they don't let you in, in the film industry. They don't back you up, they don't fund you, and all of that. So um, instead of getting distressed and upset about that, I decided to turn my obstacle into a game changer. And that's how I conceived Spare Me the Crab Mentality. And I think that is a winner's mentality, that when you turn your obstacles into game changers, into something that works for you, and when um, the other people who have the same winner's mentality kind of sense it, then they resonate on your winner's wavelength and fund you anyways. So, you know, there you go. That's, that's uh, the whole concept behind the show. So what exactly is this show? Well, in this show, we are giving a fabulous opportunity to freshers to come and audition for my forthcoming film, Jar. And um, every walk-in gets airtime on TV through the show, right? So nobody walks out of the auditions disillusioned. Everybody's happy, right? Even if I don't make it as a winner of the show to get a role in Jar, but I at least am seen on TV as a reality show star. So there you go. I just... Uh, kind of, um, you know, put it all together in such a way that everybody wins, right? And we are also giving a fabulous opportunity to celebrities, TV stars, movie stars, sports personalities, business honchos to come and be a judge on our show. So, you know, we are trying to extend job opportunities uh, for a good cause in both the directions, you know, for people who haven't even begun their career in Bollywood, as well as established names in the industry from various walks of life. So that's the way Pooja Mishra Productions cracks the crab mentality. Okay, uh, so ma'am, uh, from where did you got this, con uh, this concept coming in your mind? Like uh, there are many other opportunities people providing to people's like. So from where did you got this idea? Well, actually, um, I was making this film, which has been under production for over two to three years now. Um, the pre-production is going on. I'm going to shoot it this year called Jad. Um, when I was in the process of writing the screenplay, I realized it was always my Bollywood dream to, you know, do a film and tell my story. More than anything else, it was about getting the creative satisfaction of narrating your tale, you know. So uh, I realized nobody came forward to support me or help me. In fact, everybody was so insecure and crab-like that they all tried to stop me, create obstacles, block my opportunities, my funders, from my writer, Raja Nagarwal, to my appointed director, who's now fired, Naveen. Everybody really troubled me 
when I wanted to initiate this project. So instead of letting all this embitter me and get me negative, I decided to, you know, do something for others. Like I can, I, I want to do for you what nobody did for me. Nobody came forward, had the guts to walk in and say, you know what, girl, you are fabulous. I want you to be the main lead in my movie because you are so with it and together. Nobody did that. So is that going to, is that going to kill me? Is that going to break my heart? Am I going to just give up? No, I'm going to do it on my own and I'm going to make you also fulfill your dreams along with mine. That was the whole concept. You know, I want to do for you what nobody did for me. Well, uh, since you said that you didn't got any support from anyone, yeah. how difficult it was for you uh, to like coming up with this project and uh, like uh, still pulling this uh, project? Yeah. Well, it was definitely an uphill climb as far as uh, Spare Me the Crab mentality and the film is concerned. It has been endlessly delayed, not because of me, because I hardly sleep. I sleep four hours in, an, uh, in a day because I work so hard, day in, day out, morning, afternoon, night. Sometimes I lose track of time because I'm so engrossed in my work. And uh, taking care of behind the camera as well as in front of the camera can get rather tedious and sometimes my health suffers. But I never give up, you know, that's the winner's attitude. So um, uh, it was definitely very, very tough and to garner support was exceedingly tough because everybody who would want to come and jump on the bandwagon of this film would get a call from some film frat family and tell them that please don't 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 involve yourself don't invest in this project and you know some really crappy things like that but i'm not going to let that stop me because the people who have got passion enough who've got determination enough and who are focused enough always finish the project they start and I'm known for that. I mean, I've made a web series called Love Sutra, which is on air on Hangama Play app and I'm going to soon have it on a couple of others. And then I've made this TV show called Abhi to Party Shuru Hui Hai, which was on air for four months on E24 Bollywood News Channel. And, uh, uh, you know, and uh, I'm um, also working on my music video simultaneously, then this reality show and the film. So, you know, I just don't have any time to breathe. People tell me, Pooja, why don't you do work with other production houses? I'm like, I'm so busy running the show of mine. You know, it's like a one woman's army. Where do I have the time? Really? You know, but uh, I have been getting a couple of feelers and offers from other production houses and I'm open to act in their movies because now it's only movies, you know, because TV shows, web series, I'm making all of that on my own. So, um, yeah, so I foresee doing a lot of films and relocating back to Bombay in a bit because I've just lost my father. And <coughs> it's been heartbreaking for me because I think I was very, very, very attached to him. And I'm still recuperating from the trauma and the shock of it all. But uh, instead of spiraling down into chronic depression, I've given myself full heartedly immersed myself in my work. So I think that's my solace. That's how I'm escaping this loss of my father. And uh, I just want all you guys out there to support me on this uh, concept, which is really socially relevant because <coughs> it helps people fight their own demons and conquer them and think in a more neutral manner. I've noticed in the film industry, there's a very, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a mentality of scarcity. Everybody who is a crab always feels, oh, there's not enough space for everybody, you know. I have to cut this person and, and, and stand where he or she is standing. And that is the saddest part because I operate from a mentality of abundance. There's enough space for everybody. You do not have to trample another to carve a niche or to make a mark. It's as simple as that. I mean, I know how much of hardship I've faced to put this film together. And today when I am, I'm inviting people to come be a part of it. That's being open-minded. That's having an abundant mentality rather than a conceited narcissistic one. And I would encourage people to explore an abundant uh, mentality. Why? Because it's the law of the universe. You know, when you think in abundance, you create abundance around you. So if you look at it mathematically and spiritually, 
um, an abundant mentality is always uh, more beneficial to you as well as the world around you. Okay, so uh, ma'am, since you said that uh, you uh, from this show people can get a job opportunity. Yes. So why only a reality show? Like you might have chose uh, a short film or maybe a daily soap or something else. Why reality show? Because I feel that they are icons like Jennifer Lopez who are living the quintessential American dream. She was a girl who was raised up in a suburb in the Bronx, which is not a very glamorous place. And then she shot to fame at a very late stage in her life. You know, she was really quite old according to industry standards, but she is an icon. I think she's one of the most wealthiest, most influential women. And that's the quintessential American dream. So why don't we have a, an Indian dream come true? Why don't we have a counterpart to Jennifer Lopez's a uh, magnanimous success story of having risen from a unknown, unheard of, down market suburb to this larger than life icon. Why don't we have success stories like that in India? We need that because that inspires us, that, 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 that kind of motivates us to believe that regular people, normal people can also turn out to be icon regardless of what age they are, regardless at, of where they stand in their life at that particular point in time, whether they've lost a father and they're internally shattered, whether they are, you know, uh, have been cornered and yet don't give up. So I wanted to create a success story like that. And to create that, you have to have the movie industry involved. So I thought, why not create it through a film? You know, have a reality show, let that trickle into and spill over into our film and, you know, create an identity for a uh, uh, brand new freshers uh, before we cast them in our film. You know, and I'm really taking only applicants, people who are uh, logging on to my website, www.pwojamisra.wixsite dot com slash reality show so i'm getting a lot of pictures a lot of um, messages ma'am i want to be a part of your show and then we're going to just shortlist the applicants give them a proper grooming course of 15 to 20 days where they'll be taught how to face the camera how to give their best in front of the camera during the reality show and then we are going to have judges who will decide, you know, as uh, per the rhythm, uh, there'll be semi-finals and then the finals. And in all probabilities, they'll not be giving break to one person, but two, three people from the reality show in our film. And our film is to star a couple of big names. So uh, they're going to get a fabulous opportunity to do their first film with big names, talented people. So I think that's a dream come true. I wish, I wish when I walked into the industry, there was a show like this and, and I would have participated and, you know, made the Indian dream come true right back then. But considering nobody gave me the privilege, I want to give you the privilege. Even you have been the part of a reality show. What do you think, how much does one reality show helps uh, a person uh, for coming up, for like right. going up in for the future? Well, actually, I feel that uh, reality shows, it completely depends on how you really uh, play your cards. Uh, when I walked into Big Boss, I was like a baby. I hadn't done any homework. I hadn't seen the previous seasons. But I noticed over the seasons, a lot of people, when they walk into the reality show, they've really done their homework and they walk in there totally confident, knowing how to project themselves and how to reach their goal of winning it. So um, I would say reality television can catapult you. Like we've got Shilpa Shetty who made the biggest comeback through a reality show called Big Brother. We've got um, reality show anchors like Manish Paul, Ayushman Khurana, who have gone on to become movie stars. So, I mean, reality show is this unpredictable, magical concussion, which if you play well, you know, it can do wonders for you. But unfortunately, if it bogs you down and, and, and like it did to me after Big Boss, actually, um, then it can just only totally work against you, too. You know, so you should just know how to play your cards. Really, that's what it is. That's where it's at.
you have lined up lots of things it really sounds good so when did this reality show start well actually we're going to start rolling in 20 days to a month's time right now uh, we've got feelers from a lot of channels and apps who want to come on board as our channel partner and our radio partner so i'm in mumbai for those meetings once we've got that sorted um, we're going to start the grooming sessions with the freshers and then hopefully in 20 days to a month's time we're going to go on floor with it any message for the viewers and the upcoming stars Yes, my message for all the viewers and all the aspiring stars out there, even the celebrities and A-listers, uh, please log on to www.poojamishra.vixsite.com/reality-show. Drop me a line. I'd love to have you uh, on my show, either as a contestant or a brand evangelist, who are judges. And if you have a story to tell, how you've survived a crab mentality against all odds. please drop me a line as well because we'd love to feature you on our show so there you go here is a fabulous opportunity for one and all to really come together and break a mental stigma that exists in every industry in this country and the world and uh, break the bottleneck that throttles us all so uh, i just hope that you guys support me in this uh, fabulous uh, you know concept and thought Thank you Thanks so much, ma'am, and all the best for your future. Thank you. Thank you. वो कट कर देंगे थैंक यू मैम